Hey guys, welcome back. I'm pretty excited about today's video because I bought a few new components to upgrade my current computer. I have a just a quad-core i5-6500 right now and editing 4K video, well, it's it's doable but with a lot of lags and uh, rendering takes a lot of time. So I decided to upgrade to a new mainboard CPU and RAM. And for that I bought this mainboard over here, B450 Aeros Elite V2. Now this mainboard is able to, uh, well, it supports Ryzen 2000, 3000, 5000 series CPUs. I got a Ryzen 7 3800X. Um, the reason I went for the 3800X instead of the 3700X is this thing is slightly better and right now at the same price. So why not go for it? And then I also bought 32 gigabyte of HyperX Fury memory. And yeah, 32 gigabyte is a bit much, but if I ever go into like 4K editing with a lot of effects, uh, this is definitely something that I need. And that is everything for today's video. I'm not going to replace my graphics card, at least not right now, because prices... Well, even used parts are just too expensive. And in this, in this video, I'm going to uh, build this up, get it into my new machine, and compare the rendering speed from my old machine to the new one. Just so you know, for now, I'm going to use the stock cooler, but in another video, I'm going to actually water cool my machine. I bought everything necessary for custom water cooling, but I tried to make it as cheap as possible. But more on that in the specific video. So let's go ahead and open up the mainboard. It's only B450, but it's validated for even Ryzen 5000 series. I don't have to upgrade the BIOS. And more importantly, it was cheap. This thing, at the time I bought it, cost 88 euro. And the funny thing is, uh, three days later, so today, it cost 133 euro. So that's a good value. Let's see. That's a beautiful mainboard. Has everything that I need and even more. We can install two M.2 SSDs, and I'm not going to, because it's completely unnecessary. I actually did a test when rendering video. I thought maybe using SSDs would also get rendering speed uh, down, or rather, speed up, time down, but that's not the case. The only difference that I could actually get repeatedly is rendering from one drive to another. And it didn't even depend on SSD or hard drive, just two different drives. One the original footage is on, and the one you're rendering to. And a one minute video gets a five second difference in rendering speed, so not really um, worth. So aim for socket, four RAM banks, two M.2 SSDs, 16x slot, 1x slots. Yeah, not really uh, much to say here. Very nice I.O. however, we have uh, four USB 3.0, four USB 2.0, and gigabit LAN, and the rest is, yeah, standard. Can't really tell you much more about this. I mean, it's a main board. And now, on to the CPU. And I need a knife to cut the package open. Right. So... Here we have it, the CPU, the Ryzen 7 3800X. Oh my god. Oh, nice. So let's set this aside for now. I also need the cooler. Again, I'm going to water cool it in the future, but for now, for testing purposes, I'm going to use the uh, included Wraith. I think it's the Wraith Prism Cooler. Could be wrong on that, but yeah. I'm 
going to use it for now, so I don't need this packaging. Don't need this. Pre-applied thermal paste, all right. Set this aside. And we have some RGB cables, which I'm not going to use. Now, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I like the aesthetic of RGB, but I don't need it in my machine. I mean, this thing stands on the ground. It's not for display. It's actually for work. Then we have the RAM. Oh, 32 gigabyte of RAM. I mean, oh, I had 8 gigabyte for the last five years. And let me tell you this. 8 gigabyte was too little. Re really. Um, when I built my computer, everyone said, oh, 8 gigabyte, you, you will never ever need more than that. Or rather, it's more than enough for gaming. The computer was originally built for gaming. But after like uh, a year, the first games started coming out that just completely overwhelmed my 8 gigabyte of RAM. And yeah, I didn't want to spend more on this. I could have bought more RAM, but um, it was just more like, oh, I have to wait till the games are, how is it called, um, optimized for lower RAM. And yeah, they were. But two years later, there were actually games that you couldn't play at 8 GB, at least not until the end, like some building games. But uh, the computer right now is for rendering and video editing, so I don't really... But I just wanted to say that um, if you can go for a bit more RAM, it's definitely worth it. All right, I hope you can see this. Um, now we have a white triangle on the PCB and a triangle on the slot, the socket actually. And we do have a golden triangle on this edge of the CPU. Now if I open this one up and align the two triangles, Get this in and it should be fine if I then we can now push this one down and that's pretty much a CPU installed. Now we can move on to RAM install. I should consult the manual where to put them in. I mean it could be one and two, it could be three and four. There's actually an order in which you have to install RAM. I don't know if it makes a big difference nowadays if you like install it either 3, 4 or 2, 1. The, the only thing is that typically you have one slot in between the both. So this means that by two modules we want in DDR4-1 and DDR4-2. Let's get memory out and see do we have to peel something? No. All right, what was it? I already forgot. Memory, we want in slot one and two. Which one is slot one? Slot one is, yeah, the, this one and slot two is this one. So we want this and this slot. want to fit what is the problem we normally should be able to push them in and then it closes itself but I had to push the pins in so I don't know last one again I have to push in the pins 
Why? Okay, so memory is installed. Yep, everything's fine. Now, the cooler. We have pre-applied thumb paste. We just need to align it. I'm going to install it like this, so I have the lever for the mechanism over here. We need to get this back hook, and then the lever goes over here. Okay, and the cooler is installed. Where's the CPU fan header? It's uh, this one over here. So we can simply go in like this. Okay. Now that's in place. Now I have to get my computer out underneath the table and remove the old parts and get the new one in. Alright, so I decided to clean my computer before I go ahead and uh, remove the old components and uh, yeah, it looks a bit better. Now we can go ahead and remove the old and get the new in. So graphics card, this will be uh, reinstalled. I recently um, well replaced thermal paste after five years because this card got a bit more loud when playing like for example ARC and I thought well um, replacing thermal paste the noise would go down but for some reason well it did go down but not by as much as I thought it would be. Now as I'm going to um, install this or rather use this for my dad as his new computer I'm not going to disassemble everything it will just go out of the case as is and then go into his one or rather an old case or not an old case a case that I bought originally for a secondary computer but I never came to make the secondary computer so he gets uh, my uh, case that I bought a few years ago with this and a few other things and yeah Definitely better as an Optiplex, what was it, 900 something? Has like an i3, 2 core, 4 threads, um, very low clock speed, lower than mine, and definitely much older. Alright, all the screws are removed, and now we can. Um, maybe I should also disconnect the SATA ports, that would also help. And now I should be able to just lift this one out. Yeah, clear all the cables and we are out. And let's see, just double check. Where do we need standoffs? We need two at the top. There should have been a hole and here. And there's actually a marking but nothing underneath, so yeah, I removed them for safety reasons, not that it short something. Now I have to get this in, one way or the other. Oh my god, I completely forgot. This mainboard didn't have a pre-installed backplate, it was a separate one. All right, the main board is installed. I attached all of the cables. Doesn't look perfect, but that's all right. I have to redo most of it anyway, as soon as I'm going to water cool the computer. And last order of business is to reinstall the GPU. Then we can finally test and see if it works. Then also, it's open, we can see how much better the Ryzen 7 3800X is in comparison to my i5-6500 and I'm expecting it to be much much better. Alright, so the computer did start, no problem there. And I went ahead and loaded my um, test uh, render thingy and as you can see we're rendering if I go over here, 
we have currently a temperature of 73 we're at a max of 83 degrees celsius uh, oh and we're finished all right so all the cores were loaded with a maximum frequency uh, or rather we had a sustained all core boost frequency of 4.1 gigahertz I think this is down to the maximum of 83 degrees Celsius. Um, the stock cooler is not really uh, yeah, capable of cooling this thing. And we finished in. Let's see. What is this? It's not readable through the lens. So it reads 17 minutes and 53 seconds. Uh, if I compare that to the previous numbers, oh uh, well. <laughs> it was one hour and three minutes 52 seconds so we shaved off quite a bit i mean yeah it's it's 46 minutes less with a new computer and just so you know um there aren't any special effects these are just two very long clips just behind each other from my gpu repair video uh, the overall length of the video is 14 minutes and 37 seconds. The combined size, or this raw size, is 9.65 gigabyte. It's rendered at 3840 by 2160. We can go to deliver. Here are the settings. So 4K, MP4. Uh, bitrate limited to 50,000 50, kilobit per second and the rest is just uh, standard settings. Uh, very interesting. So this thing, 46 minutes faster and that is without uh, good cooling. I'm expecting this to be slightly faster, maybe 2-3 minutes faster as soon as the cooling solution is better because again the boost, uh, all core boost is normally set to 4.2 gigahertz, but it had to clock down slightly due to the stock cooler. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please leave a like, comment down below and other than that, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!